All right, so here we want to find the square root of 78 to the nearest tenth. And I will solve this, of course, with you, but I also want to talk about uh, ways of using the multiple choice to your advantage here. Um, for example, um, let's start with the easy one here. I'm going to start with multiple choice. 9 squared is 81. So that means this choice is out right from the beginning. It's too large. And if we look at 78, what do we notice? We know it's, it's between right, eight, 8 and 9, because 8 squared is 64, and 9 squared is 81. So if 9 squared is 81, right, and 8 squared is 64, and I want to see well, what's it closer to, right? What do I do? Well, I subtract. 81 minus 78 is only 3. And 78, excuse me, minus 64, this lower number, is a full 14 away. So it's quite far from 8, right? So the decimal that represents the square root of 78 shouldn't be close to 8. It should be closer to 9. That means 8.3 is out as well, right? 8.3 is closer to 8 than 9, and we've already established by subtracting here that the square root of 78 should be closer to 9. So it would have to be, whatever this decimal is, above, right, 8.5 8 or above, right? It'd have to be closer to 9 than 8. And 8.5 even wouldn't be reasonable here because that would be halfway in the middle. That tells me it's got to be B or C. How do I test that? Well, I think often people get flustered with decimal multiplication, but let me show you how, how I would work it out. I would think of 8.7 as 87, and then I would square 87. So multiply that by itself. And the law of multiplication is not too bad. 7 times 7 is 49. Right? 7 times 8 is 56, plus 4 is 60. Carry the 0. 8 times 7, again, right? 56. Um, 8 times 8 is 64, plus 5. 69, add these up, 9, 6, 5, 1, and we get what? Well, it's not really 7,569, right? These are both 8.7. So it's, not, it's 10 times smaller twice, or 100 times smaller, which is 75.69. And we want to know, um, right, is this a better approximation or is 8.8? .8? So let's plug in 8.8. .8. So 88 squared, all right, set this up real quick. 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 8 is 64, plus 6 is 70. Carry the 0. 8 times 8 is 64, right? 8 times 8 is 64, plus 6 is 70. Add it up, we get 77.44. Now 78, right, is what we're trying to get. Notice how much closer 88 got us to 70. 88.8 8 squared, excuse me, got us to 78 than 8.7 did, which means the answer must be 8.8. .8. So, I mean, this is a difficult process to approximate, but again, say what, what two numbers is, the, is your square root between, then subtract. What's it closer to? Here is much closer to 9. And then start to eliminate choices, and then finally, um, you can eliminate some choices and only test a few. Here, I only tested B and C to figure this out, and C was closer when I squared it to 78 than B was, so I knew C had to be the answer. All right, hope that helped.